It's all day with me until my fingers fall off. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back.
here is a tutorial on how I made these little flowers on my friendship bracelets. I got this friendship bracelet kit on Amazon. It comes with letters and rainbow seed beads. And just so you know, seed beads are tiny. If you want something bigger, I would go for poly beads. I also got these extra metallic beads that have hearts and stars. I have all of these and other options linked on my Amazon storefront. First of all, you want to start with your petal color and string those four beads on there. You can also use tweezers to pick up the seed beads, but I like to make my life difficult. Next, you're going to want to string one bead that will be your middle color of your flower. After that, you're going to want to carefully thread the string back through the first petal bead. You're going to want to thread it back through the bead the opposite direction that you put it on the string, if that makes sense. I like to pull mine tight after that, but you can always adjust it after. Next, you're going to take two of the petal colored beads and thread them on the string. She should be starting to look like a flower here. Then you're going to thread it through the fourth petal bead that you put on, so the last one before you put the middle bead on. I like to pinch the bead by itself because it also pulls the string a little tighter to give me more room to thread the string back through it. Then you're just going to pull that tight and you have a flower. It's pretty easy to adjust the flower up and down the string. Just make sure you don't pull too hard and break the string. Another little tip that I have is that I like to hide my knot inside of a letter bead and that's it. Then you're done. I'm a Swifty who doesn't like to gatekeep so Here is a tutorial on how to attach the clip. Here is what you will need. Start by cutting a long piece of string. Then make your bracelet. Now take this piece and attach it to one side. It should look like this. Now do the same thing to the other side. Then you want to clamp it down so that the string is tight. And now do it to the other side. Now take this ring and open it. Then attach it like this. Now take the clip and put it on the ring. Then close the ring so it doesn't fall off. Now cut the access string. Then you are done. Here is how to clip it. Let me know if you have any questions. 3.
Here's what you can get for one cent. You can get a used bag with a used sticker. You won't be getting a bracelet. I'll be generous, so I'll give you a bead. And along with some string. And as a freebie, I'll give you three pearls. No jewelry bag. Thanks for ordering. Here's what you can get for $15. You can get three bracelets of your choice. These are just the examples. Now time for some freebies. A free bracelet, a thank you note, and a cute fake tattoo. Now let's pack it in. The jewellery bag. And we can't forget the thank you note. Bye, thanks for commenting. Here. I guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. It's one step forward and three steps back. Do you get deja vu when she's with you? How to tie the end of the bracelet so first off you start off is get an x and then the string that's under you put it under the x then you make a knot then you just basically repeat this over and over i would say about depends on the string that you're using if you're using crystal string then probably three and the string probably four but this is probably my first time using the elastic string so i just wanted to try it out because i have a lot of it but never used it so here is me cutting it and this is how the bracelet looks bye
use a beat spinner. Side note, I'm pretty sure that I use a beat spinner differently than everybody else, but it's what works best for me. Step 1 is to fill up your beat spinner. By the way, the more beats you put in, the better it will work. Also, beat spinners are made for seed beads and not clay beads, so it does shoot out sometimes when you're using it. My beat spinner came with this small needle, but the end of it was way too small for my string. So I taped the end and did it a different way, but I ended up buying bigger needles. These are the needles I have. So you're going to want to get your string, and I usually just tape it to my tape dispenser, so then it's easy to do anywhere. But if you're doing that in a table, that works better. You're going to want to get the needle side of the needle and put it just over the beads. Don't put it too far down or it'll scratch your bead spinner. Then you spin it and it picks up beads. Then I slip the string through this hole. And then I slip it onto the string. Get
Let's get into a clay beads factory outlet in China. They only produce clay beads, so they don't have anything else to offer. The good thing is that their prices are pretty competitive. Let's keep going to see all different styles they have. These ones are huge packages. These are clay beads bracelets 2022. While there are some examples of what you can make, however, possibilities are endless by using different combinations with other kind of beads, charms, strings, closures, etc. some orange clay beads. These are mixed fruit clay beads. I think these are pretty cute, also these. Here are the round beads. If you are a clay beads business and want to see more, then follow us for upcoming new styles. Thank you for watching, bye bye.